Why someone like me who's been completely disenfranchised from the Call of Duty series is excited about Black Ops 4. And why I feel that the Blackout mode in Bla Call of Duty Black Ops 4 will be the final nail in the coffin to PUBG. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving you a gameplay commentary. Today we're talking about Black Ops 4, the Blackout mode for the new Call of Duty game and why I feel you should be excited about it because I'm certainly excited about it and it might even get me to buy a Call of Duty game for one. Now I know many of us out here including myself were very skeptical of when it comes to hearing that Call of Duty was going to put the latest trend in the game like they've been doing for the last decade basically and that's by adding Battle Royale because we all know how huge PUBG was and then now that Fortnite is completely bumped it like everybody and their mom knows about Fortnite now Call of Duty adding Battle Royale is it going to work out I mean is this game even going to be able to function properly I mean the game's never gone to that scale before in this video I'm going to tell you why it's done it a fantastic job of it and why you should keep an eye out for Black Ops for blackout mode because it's going to be a force to be reckoned with. See, the thing is about the blackout mode for Black Ops 4 is that it plays much more like a battle royale game but with the very smooth handling and awesome hit detection that Call of Duty is known for and just that level of polish that so many lower tier developers struggle to capture because they don't have the resources. But Call of Duty comes with that fantastic formula that they've banked on for the last two decades basically and brought you something that really can rival everything but Fortnite pretty much. Like the game mode doesn't really play like Call of Duty. It plays like a battle royale but with Call of Duty handling and that sounds absolutely amazing to me. This is really the second time a major developer has gone in to make a battle royale mode. Everyone thinks that you know Epic and Fortnite was like a small time dev, dev team like no Epic was the team that made Gears of War like this was the first time battle royale was done by a major publishing team and now we have the second one here coming from Call of Duty we'll see what uh, Battlefield has to come up with but Call of Duty's version here seems to be doing pretty damn well you know I've heard that the uh, release version of Blackout will come up with 115 players uh, though right now in this beta they only comes out with 80 but certainly I've heard great things about the, uh, having the action being very well paced the map size it right now fits you know the battle royale perfectly it's not too small it's not too large that yeah, was one thing i was worried about with the addition of vehicles with uh the blackout mode that would just have to make this map so large it'd be so uncommon to find uh gunfights much like how it is in PUBG. but the thing is though is that you know call of duty dev team found the right sauce to put this all together because you can definitely tell with treyarch that majority of their dev time was put into this mode and you can definitely see how they went into all the details to make sure it was something worth playing and not just some tacked on addition like Call of Duty has been doing for the last decade. Be it super abilities like you have in Destiny and Overwatch, uh, even though the multiplayer in Black Ops 4 seems to have heard to be a little bit more like Overwatch, but toned down a little bit from what the rumors were a lot of. You know, add in the advanced movements like what Titanfall did. It seems like Call of Duty really kind of lost its essence of what made the game so great. Also with the map, it's so cool that they added in classic Black Ops maps into Battle Royale maps. So you have maps like Array, Turbine, Cargo Docks, and of course Nuketown, which is, it has its own island as well. You have maps like Raid, like all these classic Call of Duty maps are inputted into this game. So it helps give you much more iconic locations of knowing where to go. So then when you have someone telling you to go to Raid or go to Turbine or go to this location, you know, you land there, you're like, okay, I recognize this area. This seems very familiar with this brand new landscape of everything being interconnected, basically. You jump in, grab all the loot that you can, very much like a standard standard version of Battle Royale. You even have scopes. And you can definitely tell that the way that they did the gearing up process, it's very much based off of PUBG. We have very specific scopes. Uh, you can pick up certain kinds of armor. That's like tier one, two, and three. Tier three gets you, I believe, up to 200 health which is very important obviously or maybe even more i'm not quite sure exactly what the number is on that but there's high tier numbers where i've heard that even people kind of complain about tier 3 being a little overpowered when it comes to armor you have plenty you have all the weapons you could ever want but you even have gold tier weapons which apparently are very rare and hard to find but they will add more to the game but also we're talking about more weapons you even have the ray gun that's in the zombies area on the map as well that's right there is a location i believe it's called the asylum where you will have to fight zombies and zombies apparently even drop like small health packs as well so there is a purpose to shooting these things as well so you can even farm them for more abilities which is awesome 
gives you a reason to shoot these guys and, you know, take them out rather than having to just run out of the air because there's no point of risking your life for that. So, there's an awesome little detail right there, which uh, I praise Treyarch for. Now, can you imagine if the circle closed in on the asylum? So, not only is a fight against other enemy players, but you have to fight against these zombies coming after you as well. Like a PvP zombie mode? Like, dude, that's pretty freaking awesome. Though, talking about the looting part of the game and grabbing weapons and attachments, I've heard that it's actually very cumbersome to pick things up. Because when you kill players, they drop a briefcase or a bag, whatever you want to call it. And you have to go in, examine the bag, kind of cycle through what you want, and then you'd be able to add it to your repertoire of weapons and armor and things like that. And then I've heard from many, that's a major complaint I've heard about this Blackout mode, is that it's a very cumbersome menu system. It makes it rather slow and puts the gameplay down to a halt when you're trying to you know loot a different body it's not like when fortnite where it's instantly just you know, pick up boom, 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 good, good to go like they did that fantastic where they definitely can see that uh, again like i said that black ops blackout mode copied a lot of pubg because of the ui that for looting and stuff like that for blackout is very similar to pubg where it's very kind of slow you have to kind of you know make sure that area is completely clear and you're in cover before you bother to try to pick up some loot because it's going to take some time and a really cool thing that they added in were the perks i was wondering if, if you're gonna have like a loadout system or you're gonna jump in completely naked and it's all about what you pick up that seems to be the case about whatever you just jump in as a soldier and it's about what you pick up there's even perks you can pick up but the thing is though these perks will only last temporarily they don't last permanently which i think is a really great addition and that's a whole nother level of strategy to this mode that you can pop you know your dead signs when you want to sneak up on some people or you know your skulker i believe what it's called where so you can you know ads well you can walk while ADS a lot faster so not only does this battle royale mode you know give you that solid battle royale experience but it gives you an interesting twist just some minor tw changes like that but just enough to where it make it feel like it's its own game and it's a whole nother level of strategy that needs to be involved with this so you have the addition of vehicles like a little bird you can fly a helicopter which I don't remember seeing any battle royale mode with a aerial vehicles which is pretty nice you know you got uh, you have some boats you have some cargo trucks you have atvs that get you all around the map in no time now the performance so far of this beta has been solid when it works <laughs> i should say because uh from what i've seen and what I've, you know people have experienced is that the frame rate and the texture loading and everything seems to work out rather well i have apparently there have been some issues with like your base level playstations uh, when it comes to frame rate, which could be understandable, that was one thing I was actually really worried about with this black ammo is because with uh, Battle Royale, yeah, your field of view, it needs to be stretched out so much further. It needs to render so much more content that I was afraid that the frame rate would be struggling quite a bit. Uh, but apparently I've been hearing some of that when it comes to you know regular PlayStation 4 users by using a PS4 Pro or it's worked totally fine. Uh, but another thing about the performance though, that uh, crashing has been kind of common. Uh, I mean, I watched a Dr. Disrespect stream and he was crashing, you know, not super often to the point where it was like really hindering the game experience, but every once in a while, like one of once every hour or so, you'd be hit with a blue screen and, you know, ruining his game right there, sadly. So now why will Blackout kill PUBG? Well, essentially what I've been hearing, you know, from a lot of people and what I've seen is that Blackout really is just a refined well-polished version of PUBG essentially with some extra vehicles thrown in there and so why would the heck would you want to play a buggy kind of slow clunky version of, a, of PUBG where you can play a fast-paced smooth nice fam frame rate um, super you know exciting gameplay visuals are just fantastic version of the same thing with Blackout I could see a lot of players moving over from H1Z1 and PUBG and other non-Fortnite Battle Royale game modes and playing Blackout. Treyarch certainly did put their time into making this game mode something special, something unique to the Battle Royale genre. So they have their own voice. So this is Call of Duty's take on the mode rather than just trying to copy exactly what everyone else is doing, which, like I said earlier, Call of Duty has been doing it for the last 10 years. So right now it is closed. Blackout beta begins right here on the 14th for everybody on Xbox One. However, the PC beta will be access on September 14th and also the beta on the PC will be open. So I would certainly jump Jump on the PC version of this. I'll certainly give you guys my take on it once I finally get my hands on this game. This is the first time I've actually been excited about Call of Duty since Black Ops 2. Genuinely 
excited for this new Call of Duty. I really want to get my hands on this blackout mode and give you my two cents on it for sure. So that's the end of the video, guys. If you enjoyed this commentary, please make sure to tap that like button. Let me know you want to see some more content like this. Leave a comment down below if you had a chance to try out the new blackout mode in Black Ops 4. What are your thoughts on it? Let me know in the comment section down below. I do read all the comments and try to reply to most of them as well. If you're new to the channel, I'll stay up to date with anything Halo mainly related, but a little games here, other games here and there every once in a while. Make sure to tap subscribe with the bell. Keep you up to date with any information coming your way here. And thank you all for watching and check out any videos on the screen right now. If you missed any content from me, I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.